Hi there, I'm Oluwa Kemi. I create educational videos for both students and teachers as well as some other helpful do-it-yourself videos. And if you are watching my video for the first time, please leave a comment below, share and like. And please do click on the red subscription button. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and be educated. Hi, I'm Oluwa Kemi. I'm so excited to have you here again. This is another YEC Math Question 2019 and the question goes thus. H varies directly as P and inversely as the square of Y. If H equals 1, P equals 8 and Y equals 2, find H in terms of P and Y. Okay, so what this question is invariably asking us can be seen from the answer option. So that means we're going to find um, H in terms of P and Y, okay, just as a thesis. And uh, with this, um, we're also given some important information in the questions, like in the first sentence we're told that H varies that is use the sign directly okay as p and inversely as the square of y okay so um in order to change the sign normally in a variation we change this sign okay so now to equal sign and the constant k will appear just as it is right now Okay, so now that we have these, and in the second sentence, we're given values for H, P, and Y. So we're going to substitute that in here, okay? So, if we substitute H, H we have 1, isn't it? Then K, for P we have 8, alright? Then for Y, what do we have? 2. So we have 2 squared, which is 4. Alright, so if we cross multiply now, we have 8k equals 4 times 1, which is 4. So if we divide both sides of the equation by 8, we have k equals 1 over what? 2. Okay, so if k is 1 over 2, we now substitute that back into this equation okay so this is what we're going to have all right we have h all right then k which is 1 over 2 all right so we have 1 and then the 2 we go down you know then we have the p 1 times p that we just the p all right, then we have the y square. All right, so this is our answer in terms of p and y. Okay, so let us check the answer option to see which one tallies. Answer option C is the right answer. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.